We've been making a difference in the lives of people with hearing and vision loss since 1860, when Thomas Patterson, a deaf migrant to Australia from Scotland, opened the first school for deaf children, which would eventually become the Royal Institute for Deaf and Blind Children, or RIDBC as it's widely known. Nine years later, our specialist services expanded to include support for blind children. In 1908, Alice Bettridge, RIDBC's first deafblind student, enrolled and attended the school until 1921. Harold Earlham, an advocate for compulsory education for deaf children, became the Institute's superintendent in 1911. For blind students, he extended the use of Braille within the school, ensuring they had access to the best available Braille equipment and books. Later, in his role as the first president of the National Association of Australian Teachers of the Deaf, Harold started the first training program for teachers of the deaf. In 1948, Helen Keller visited RIDBC during an international tour to support the rights of deaf and blind people around the world and met with Alice Bettridge, RIDBC's first deafblind student. On this year, RIDBC achieved a record number of students with 242 enrolments. In 1962, RIDBC relocated to North Rocks in New South Wales and was officially opened in 1963 by the Governor of New South Wales, Sir Eric Woodward. The relocation was brought about to consolidate RIDBC schools, combining the School for the Blind at Warunga and the School for the Deaf at Darlington. It also provided residential accommodation for staff and students. The first computerised Braille production unit in Australia was established at the Institute in 1978. Today, RIDBC continues to produce Braille, large print and tactile diagrams for students, supporting over 400 children who are blind or have low vision. In 1984, Sue Walters was the first person in New South Wales to receive a cochlear implant after losing her hearing to meningococcal meningitis at the age of 22. The surgery was performed by ENT surgeon, Professor Bill Gibson, as part of a groundbreaking study by the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital and Sydney University. Three years later, in 1987, Professor Bill Gibson operated on four-year-old Holly McDonnell, the first child in the world to receive the bionic ear. This bold step enabled children around the world to receive the gift of hearing and speech. In 1989, RIDBC services expanded to include outreach and home programs. Students are progressively integrated with support into mainstream schools. In 1991, regional services commenced. The Tingara Centre in the Hunter region opened and was RIDBC's first major regional undertaking. The itinerant teaching service was also established in 1991. In 1992, an Auslan preschool was opened in response to community needs. The Roberta Reed Centre, a preschool for deaf children and hearing children of deaf parents for whom Australian Sign Language is their first language. Rennick College and Reverse Integration Programs launched in 1994. These new facilities were opened by His Excellency Rear Admiral Peter Sinclair, Governor of New South Wales. 17 students commenced the Master of Special Education Sensory Disability Program. In 1997, the first 13 graduates of Rennick College received their Master of Special Education Sensory Disability awarded by the University of Newcastle. RIDBC reached a new record during the period of 2002 to 2005, with more than 600 children and families enrolled in its services. RIDBC Teleschool was launched in 2007. Now known as RIDBC Remote Services, it supports children with hearing or vision loss in regional and remote areas around Australia by way of telepractice. 
In 2010, RIDBC celebrated 150 years with a new state-of-the-art tertiary facility, the Rennick Centre. The centre was opened by Her Excellency, Governor Marie Bashir. Two years later, in 2012, Professor Gibson became the first surgeon in the world to perform 2,000 cochlear implant surgeries, making him one of the most prolific surgeons in his field and a world leader in cochlear implantation. Assisting thousands of children each year, in 2013, RIDBC was now Australia's largest non-government provider of therapy, education and diagnostic services for children with hearing and vision loss. A milestone merger in 2014 saw RIDBC and the Sydney Cochlear Implant Centre join forces to provide Australia's largest and most comprehensive cochlear implant program for people of all ages. In 2017, our Medical Director, Clinical Professor Catherine Berman, won the 2017 New South Wales Premier's Award for Woman of the Year. Clinical Professor Berman is one of the most experienced cochlear implant surgeons in the world and has now performed more than 1,500 cochlear implant procedures for children and adults from three months to 94 years. In February 2018, RIDBC officially expanded its services to Victoria through a merger with Tara Lee, an early intervention, preschool and audiological service provider and with the Early Education Program for Hearing Impaired Children. The merger enables RIDBC to support even more people with hearing or vision loss throughout Australia. So, what's next for RIDBC? As we continue to advance 160 years of RIDBC experience, in 2021, we'll unite under one brand. We're also progressing plans to move our North Rock services and operations to Macquarie University in 2023, creating a centre of excellence in hearing and vision. We have a proud history of supporting our clients in being able to live their best life through a dedication to service, innovation and groundbreaking research. Thank you to everyone who has played a part, no matter how big or small, in making RIDBC what it is today.